Well, Gary, that uh, has turned out to be a very big win today. Massive win, and uh, we, we, we spent the last few weeks really knowing that the Christmas power important the Christmas period was. And I think they forgot it in the first half because we knew um, there were going to be banana skins. Somebody was going to get beat over Christmas all the time, it always happens. And I didn't want it to be us, and I felt at half time it could be us. The only saviour was that everyone else was. Uh, in the same boat, like one was losing, one was drawing, etc, etc. But um, to be fair to uh, Kidderminster, you've got to give them a bit of credit because they didn't play like a bottom of the league team. They made it a real proper derby and, uh, and we had to fight for everything we got. I think at the end, we, uh, we looked the, the stronger in my opinion, uh, certainly all over through the second half. But they certainly put us under pressure and they worked hard. So. You know, if they keep going like that, then uh, at least they give themselves a chance. But from our point of view, we had to get the we had to get the points, and we had to be we had to be sure that we was going to win the game. And the only way we could do it was the way we played second half, which was a lot more energy, a lot more thought, a lot more blocking things, a lot more winning headers. And once we did that and kept it up front a little bit more, then uh, they couldn't get in with their quick strikers that were trying to get in on every ball. Yeah, they were quite direct first half, and they? they really tried to turn into a real battle. Yeah, they, well, that's you know they were playing to their strengths, and uh, but we dealt with it generally. It was a corner that he scored from. Um, I was a bit disappointed with that. I don't like conceding from corners, but then we won the we won the game with a corner as well. So uh, so that's that's good at least that evens that out. But all in all, we got to play them in what three or four days time, whatever it is. Uh, is it how many? Seven days time? Yeah, a week's time. So we have to we have to give them credit because uh, if they do the same, it's not going to be an easy easy game. But uh, we got to make sure we we we're ready for Torquay, and we got to make sure we're ready for the next one at Kid. Captain Fantastic comes up with an absolutely cracking header there. Yeah, I felt that we wasn't getting on the end of certainly not our defensive headers like we normally do. They were getting very close and it was getting very, very near their head. And a couple of times I thought, if he gets a touch here, this is in. But so I give him a little bit of a rollicking about not, not quite getting to the ball first and letting them dictate and getting on the corners. Um, and then I asked him to be a little bit braver. And get on the end of stuff, you know, in, in the opposing penalty area. And it, you know, when you say that, it's like red rag to a ball to Downsy, and uh, he's uh, he's very good at getting on the end of stuff like that, and and, and, win, and won us the game. You tried Andrea in the first half, but did you just feel that you needed Billy's energy in the second? Yeah, we did. That was exactly what it was. You know, Andre hasn't been with us long enough. He's not quite got our psyche at the moment, the work rate. And uh, if someone's, you know, if the work rate's not there, it's not because he's not not trying. It's because he's got a different game, and I just needed a bit a busier player up there for the second half, and uh, that's what we did. But. Uh, like, let's be honest, we could have been 4 0 up in the first 10 minutes. You know what I mean, right? He's had five chances and scored one, and then looked over at me as if he was Roy the Rovers. You know what I mean? And I said to him, You've missed five. Um, so, anyway, he, he, he played his part definitely in the second half, and uh, we, was a, we was a lot better. And it could be a pivotal day. I mean, look at the results everywhere, what's happened down in Torquay. Yeah, well, it could be, but, you know, we, we're, again, I'm not going to allow the lads to think that way. There's 20. 23, 24 huh? games left, 20 games left, and uh, 60 points yet, you know what I mean? So it's, does that work out? <laughs> um, we got, we, we, we got, I'm not going to let I'm not gonna let them relax, I promise you. I may have another heart attack, but uh, listen, I'm doing it for a good cause. And you know, given that Torquay have had that result today, they're going to come on Monday, they're going to have the, really have their tails up for Monday. Well, of course they are, they're going to believe that they can you know, beat a team at the top of the league, like Forest Green, you know, second. So, And they'll see it as a massive scout if they're going to, have, in, in three or four days, beat the two top teams. That will give their manager and their club a, a hell of a fillet. You know? So we've got to make sure that we're, we're not part of their plans. Seven points clear, you know, it's a, of course it's a handy lead to have at any time of the year. Well, there's still a couple of got a game in hand and, uh, you know, as, as long as there's still points to play for, you won't you won't me, see me celebrating yet until I know that mathematically we've done it because otherwise I'd have took my eye off the ball and if I do, the players will.